Team coverage continues now. Tropical Storm Fay is not quite ready to leave Connecticut. More rain and wind is expected overnight and into Saturday. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Shante Passmore is live in New Haven with more. Hi, Shante. Hey, Courtney, the shoreline spent the day bracing for whatever tropical storm Faye might bring right now. It's just light rain and heavy winds and in New Haven, it's expecting its next high tide come early Saturday morning. Tonight, calm waves crash against Nathan Hill Beach, but the next high tide is expected at 4 a.m. Saturday. New Haven emergency officials project it may be up to two feet above normal, which could create flooding and low-lying areas. The city's director of emergency operations tells Eyewitness News, Faye marks the start of tropical storm season, meaning now is the time to prepare for bigger storms to come. The fact that uh, our, a, a tropical storm uh, in Connecticut within the first two weeks of July is not a norm. So, uh, you know, some concern about what, what the future will bring for this rest of the year with tropical storms impacting us. On the road, Faye created wet conditions along the eastern seaboard. I mean, like rain blowing sideways into cars and stuff like that, but nothing too crazy. Like I said, driving through Connecticut and New York wasn't terrible. The worst of it was in Delaware and early in New Jersey, but might have just been the time of storm that we were in. Back in the Elm City, Eyewitness News learned Public Works cleared storm drains, while the Parks and Recreation Department has crews ready for tree debris cleanup, possibly caused by high wind speeds. And New Haven, Middlesex, Fairfield, and New London counties are still under a tropical storm warning tonight. Live in New Haven, Shantae Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.